Let me give you some facts here about the banks because Janet Yellen is going to talk today and she's going to she's going to speak about Ukraine. Ukraine is an excuse. So is COVID. But let me let me start there. Between March 9th and March 16th, 2020, as the pandemic was announced and Trump issued the travel restrictions, the U.S. stock market crashed. The Dow Jones Industrial Average uh, shed 5,676 points. That's 20% of its value in five trading days. That is the largest single point drop ever and the worst five-day drop in overall value except for the crash of 1929. Does anybody really remember that? That's significant, and that's what the stock market should have done. But we don't really remember it because it went right back up. Why? During the same five trading days, the New York Federal Reserve uh, Reserve issued emergency loans totaling more than $1 trillion to 21 major U.S. and international banks. J.P. Morgan Chase, the largest bank in the U.S., borrowed $135 billion. The Japanese Investment Bank borrowed $125 billion. Citigroup, $96 billion. Barclays, $95 billion. They're from the U.K. Goldman Sachs, $72 billion. BNP from France, $65 billion. Just those six banks borrowed $590 billion in just the few trading days as the market was crashing due to the pandemic. Another $400 billion plus was spread among another 15 U.S. and foreign banks. Now remember, this is effectively free loans. There's 0% interest rate. Now, we also know some, if not many of these loans, will end up being rolled over forever and then just forgotten and forgiven. Now, that money, that trillion dollars, it entered and stayed in the economy. It is a major first impact of inflation. Mostly what we got on this one is the stock market and the housing markets went through the roof. Now, I just want to remind you that the Fed is not a federal agency. The Fed is owned, not the other way around. The Fed is owned by J.P. Morgan, Citibank, Goldman Sachs. Anytime the stock market has a slight blip, the Fed prints currency and gives it to their banks To prop them up. Now think about that. Even with the war in Ukraine, even with COVID-19 shutting down China's largest and busiest port in Shanghai, even with gas prices sitting at record highs, the Fed mandate has become protect the stock market price and shield our largest banks from taking any loss ever. The Fed has averaged making emergency loans in excess of $1 trillion every week since March 2020. Not to you, not to me, not to Main Street, not to the small business, but every Wall Street bank that owns the Fed, $1 trillion per week. Now, there is more to this story. So let's look at some of those banks and their profits. J.P. Morgan's profit last year. And by the way, I tell you these things because these are the people that are designing the way out. And they do not have your best interest. And when the crap hits the fan, this is going to be pushed through just like TARP. We had no warning before TARP. I'm warning you now. Don't Listen to the people who have created the problem. J.P. Morgan's profit last year, all-time high returns. Jamie Dimon, J.P. Morgan Bank CEO, just earned $70 million as a bonus for a year in which the Fed provided the bank hundreds of billions of dollars in free loans. 
By the way, J.P. Morgan and its employees are among the largest donors to Democrat and left-leaning institutions in the world. It's, it is borrowing hundreds of billions of dollars in free cash from the Fed to help finance those donations. For those of you capitalists out there claiming they are a private bank and so should be able to do whatever they want with their political donations as free speech, I just have to ask, if they're borrowing the currency that they are donating from, the Fed is giving them no risk or cost to themselves. Are you really a capitalist? Do you even get what's going on here? The market is not only in a bubble, it is raging. It's a speculative bubble that is being fueled directly by the Federal Reserve, lending cash to major banks to keep buying stocks and pumping out the profits that it can funnel Parts of it into their dark money political arm of the left, because that's who's creating the runway for their new plane, which is not capitalist. This is a counterfeit and fraud and political process that is being directly funded by the central bank. By the way, the people in Congress... They get to decide who we question and who we don't. The Senate Banking Committee or House Oversight Committee, they haven't even asked Jerome Powell a single question about these loans. And yet we're in massive, massive trouble with inflation. Yeah, we need hearings. We need a special counsel to investigate Hunter and Joe Biden's dealings with China, Ukraine and Russia. We need hearings on the COVID pandemic, the lab leak, the mandates. But we also need public hearings and a full audit of the U.S. Federal Reserve. They have been lying to us. And we know that now because of FOIA records that took us 12 years to get. The more you look back on the Tea Party and Ron Paul in particular the more you have to say, Ron was right. Audit the Fed. Just a warning, these are the people that are designing the Great Reset. I don't think that uh, this one's going to work out too well for all of us not in the system, seeing that they've been screwing us for a very long time already. You think this system that they're building is going to be more favorable to the little guy? I don't think so.